With no further ado, once you actually get straight into ClickFunnels, the first thing that I want you to do is just have a look around, you know, get familiar with it. You know, really just set aside 60 minutes and don't judge yourself, just click around. And as I said, just, just really get familiar with the platform. That's one of the best ways to learn. And once you've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and just go step by step the way that, as I said, if I was brand new to this account, what I would go ahead and do. So if you go up here, you can actually see account settings. Now there's account details, sub users, account billing, you know, this is all just, you know, this is all just miscellaneous stuff. Um, that you can go ahead and deal with yourself, notifications, account history, page templates, digital assets. And then this is really where some of the juicy stuff comes in. So the first place that I want you to start is with domains. So you can see right here, I've gone ahead and hooked up a few domains. You can see right here, some of them are secured, some are not. So for example, you can see igmedia.com, my agency website. I literally just run that all off of ClickFunnels. And then for things like growagency.com, my education company, we actually use a WordPress plugin. So it's hosted on WordPress, but all of the pages are ClickFunnels pages. So that's the other thing that I love about ClickFunnels is you can actually use ClickFunnels as your builder, but then still have it routing to WordPress. So if you wanna have WordPress for whatever reason, at the education company, we like to have it on WordPress because we have an actual WordPress site that we've built out. But then in terms of all of our case study funnels, webinar funnels, et cetera, et cetera, we actually just build it out in ClickFunnels and you can just port it straight over with their integration. But anyways, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First things first, I want you to do is go ahead and add a new domain right here. So one new cool thing that they're offering is they'll actually go ahead and register the domain for you. So obviously you can come right here, you can go choose domain, just search whatever domain you wanna search up and that's it, you're good to go. And that just makes the process even easier. Now, if you're like most people, you will probably already have your own domain. So you just go here and you just go use an existing domain. You type in your domain. So let's just uh, make an example here. Let's just go ahead and type in my e-commerce clothing line, which is called gadgy.com. You're gonna go here, you're gonna go add domain. Obviously you wanna tick that box if it's registered on Cloudflare. Now here's where ClickFunnels is awesome because they're just gonna go ahead and give you instructions for absolutely everything you need to do. Getting your domain verified on ClickFunnels is super easy. All you have to do is just add a CNAME record. Now, obviously you may have bought your domain on uh, Google domains or Namecheap, you know, kind of the, you know, the usual ones are Namecheap, um, uh, GoDaddy, uh, Bluehost, et cetera, et cetera. And if you don't see your domain registrar, uh, you can just go ahead and click here and they'll go ahead and help you set everything up step by step. So as I said, I don't want to go into the specifics of it because it's different between the various different um, domain registrars anyways. But the main sort of step is you're going to go ahead and you're going to add your CNAME record. Now you're going to go ahead and click here. Good job. You did a www.gadget.com is connected and ready to use. And then you can go ahead and associate it to a funnel. And I'm not going to go ahead and do that. So you can see right here, some examples that said some I've actually verified uh, some, you know, we use WordPress and then just kind of use the integration and just do it that way.